So can you explain uh, what this is? Yeah, this is a mural called Inspiration Orlando United. And we've been working on this. Um, one other guy with me, Yuri Karabash and myself, since the Pulse tragedy. Um, we go, we interview the families. We've been in Puerto Rico, Kissimmee, all throughout Orlando. And we get their stories, pictures of the victims, survivors, the love that came after. We say, you know, 49 plus two, there were two survivors that died after Pulse, 53 survivors of Pulse and beyond. And the beyond is the love from the world. So this is a, um, a painting with some of those stories. This mural gets bigger, two times as big, and it'll have a final location in the city of Orlando next year. It will also travel um, with a life-size print across the country. So can we uh, go along and look at, like, just give us your tour? Sure. Thank you, again. The mural started with these four girls right here. And these are the Kimball sisters. And this is, in my opinion, and our team at Inspiration Orlando, the exact example of love and love after tragedy. A, a positive from a great negative. These four girls after Pulse went out to give blood with the thousands of other people and they found out they were too young. And little Finley here at the bottom said, you know, why don't we make hearts out of paper, rainbow hearts, and hand them to people and say, love always wins. To this date, they've done over 30,000 hearts. They're gonna be here today handing out hearts. They lost their father a year before Pulse, so their father is with them through this. So the hearts come up, and at the top up here, you can see their mother and father kissing with their mom's handprint and their daddy, and their handprints going through their daddy as well. Um, Every mural that we do, we, Yuri and I do a mural, it's called the World Mural, where all the murals will connect on the internet um, to make one huge mural around the world, just showing how we all love the same, our stories are very similar. The last mural that we did was about my daughter who died when she was 19. She was a survivor of sexual violence. So that's the key into this mural. And she's up here in the mural. Um, you can't really see her with the phone, I'm sure, but there's a small portrait up there in pink. Um, and she was a survivor of sexual violence and spoke out about it, that was her activism. When we got rid of Jerry Sandusky on the Penn State mural, hundreds of handprints are around him of survivors of sexual violence. And my daughter was with every single one of them. She was a fierce warrior um, speaking out. When she died, there were letters in front of that mural and someone said, I'm alive today because of you. So it's not how long you live, it's what you do while you're alive that's important. And my little girl did it. The news said that Jerry Sandusky destroyed um, those boys' lives forever. And the narrative is never, being destroyed is the worst thing you could ever say. Um, and it was literally every 10 minutes, destroyed, destroyed. So my daughter and I, we found over 400 people, people like the people up here on the mural, Oprah Winfrey, Maya Angelou, Bach, Sugar Ray Leonard, Queen Liz II, Winston Churchill, Drew Barrymore. People that were sexually abused that did amazing things for their lives, their lives weren't changed. And what brings it in the pulse is Melissa Etheridge here and the blonde, she wrote the song called Pulse, but she's also a survivor of sexual violence and speaks out. In the back of the boat is Christopher Hansen, they call him Chancellor Romance and Hansen, and he ran out of Pulse, ran back in and saved two people, but he's also a survivor of sexual violence and speaks out about it as well. And then it goes into Barbara Poma who owns Pulse and her brother who died of AIDS that she named the club after. And you can see her handprint in, in her brother there and her sister's handprint. So anytime you see handprints in the mural, it's from a lover, a friend, a good friend, or a family member. Um, and it's just one of my favorite things about the murals is when the families come up and be a part of it. The families are also giving us Snapchats, videos. So when you come up to this mural and you touch one of the hearts, you're gonna see videos. You're gonna see what the family wants us to see. You know, sometimes the news, we don't hear the whole story, but this is actually gonna be the voices from the people that, that really matter. Um, so for example, if you come over here, this is Bud Connell hugging Patty Sheehan. And you can see his reflection in the mirror. Right after Paul, the news came up to him and said, you know, what would you like to say? And he said, you know, I'd like to thank the nation. I'd like to thank the world for all the love that you've shown us. You've helped us heal. And all the news showed was his wife, Corey's mother, Tara, crying. So when you come up to the mural and you touch him with your phone, he's gonna become animated and he's gonna tell us exactly what he wants us to hear. So to me, that's really important. And before my daughter died, um, the two of us, we really were working towards that to make the murals like Harry Potter. We, we were both big Harry Potter fans, still are. Um, so, and it's actually happening now thanks to a team out of Canada called AWE who've partnered with us. They're, they're making that a reality. Myra Alvear here. Um, Myra lost her daughter Amanda, who you see sitting next to her. And Amanda's laps, Myra's son, Amanda's brother, who died when Amanda was young. Um, so poor Myra lost two children. Next to Amanda is her best friend Mercedes. Um, Myra 
has been amazing. Myra's the mom that's bringing all the families together. Um, she's just full of love, um, definitely taking the high road on this. She went to Puerto Rico with us and helped us translate with families in Puerto Rico and also taught us about Puerto Rico. Um, when we were there, we got a call from Ron Rodriguez's mother, who she had not met yet. She was talking to her on the phone. And Ron Rodriguez, you can see in the heart underneath her. And she said, can you please put flowers on my son's grave? Sadly, the father lied to the mother and said he was burying the, the um, boy next to the grandparents, and he didn't. Buried him in a very poor part of the graveyard. We went up there. Um, it was uh, two hours into Puerto Rico. It was raining. It was closed. I jumped the fence. Yuri Hu Karabash, my painting partner, and um, Myra were on the other side of the fence. They throw me the flowers. Digging through mud. There's car tracks over the graves, you know. Picking up little sticks with tin written in Sharpie, the people's names. I can't find them. The mother's live on the phone with Myra, so I'm very embarrassed. It's like an hour. All of a sudden, Myra and Yuri go, Michael, Michael, look behind you. I turn around, and it's the most beautiful, perfect rainbow. And they're directing me from their perspective where the end of the rainbow is. And Myra goes, Michael, right there. And I look down, and it's his grave. It was like perfect. And Myra's going, it's our angels, it's our angels. So he's the only one where you can see the rainbow with one rainbow coming into him. And you can see his family members' handprints around him there as well. Nancy Rosado right here. Nancy was NYPD for over um, 25 years. New York City Police Department. Nancy was under tower number one when it fell. She um, got post-traumatic stress disorder herself after that, after working for years after that, moved to Florida to be close to her mom. Many years later, Pulse happens. She translates in Florida um, for at the hospital, at the hotel with the parents for over 30 hours, starts one of the founders of Somos of Orlando for the Latinx community, and also is helping light up Puerto Rico right now. But if you look in her eyes, you can see the Twin Towers reflected in her one eye, and Paul's reflected in her other eye there. There's six Canadian geese going across the mural while we were painting for the six people that were murdered in the mosque in Canada, um, the six Muslims. So um, kids from, from uh, Howard Middle School, which is an art school, are going to come out and work with us and put symbols in for Parkland, for Manchester, all the different events, which there are way too many that happened since the Paul's tragedy. And sadly into the future going into to next year which i'm sure as we all know it's just never ending but thanks to activists like yourself david and other activists we can see and hope for a better day um, for all of us um, a safer day not just for students in schools and i just want to thank you and your and your colleagues for opening people's eyes um, you know i had mentioned to my colleague over there and i think i mentioned it to you that you just being here as muse and fuel for for my paintbrush, Yuri and I, you know, our paintbrush is our weapon. You know and I mean, um, the stories of love is our weapon. That's how we fight terrorism, with love. We don't let these people, their lives continue through the stories of love. They will never take the people we love away. We'll just make them stronger. So thank you, friends, for checking it out. You can find us at inspirationorlando.org.com um, and also on Facebook. So. Check us out. It'll keep on growing. Well, thank you guys one? so much for watching that. I just thought it was this is probably the best piece of art I've ever seen and it's it's just truly amazing. I'm gonna go out and like do a wide shot of it um, so you guys can see. It's it's absolutely it's incredible. It made me feel like the past six months have made me feel. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So thank you. Have a great day. And uh, yeah, I'm going to post some photos right after this. See you guys.